modular synthesizers here at setup day on NAM 2020. Uh, just gonna try to keep this as quick as possible. I'm sitting in the Create Audio Pittsburgh modular eye connectivity strange electronics booth. <laughs> Everybody is working hard to pull this thing together and it's been quite a day we've had. Uh, we started with a big empty space and now we have some stuff set up. So I figured I would give you a quick tour of what we're showing here and if you have some questions um, I could answer them in the chat. I have to do that first I have to change my glasses because I'm old and I can't see with the glasses I have on but we'll get there. All right this is a very professional thing. There we go. All right, so starting with the booth, we have, and maybe, oh, look at this. We have the East Beast and the West Pest showing both of these guys. They're very quiet. So we have those, and then we have the nifty case with the big ears. Perry made a little percussion patch. And this, hey, Yotas, good to see you. I'm glad you got your bat today. We're showing a bunch of the Safari modules here. Showing the bunch of the Safari modules. We have the Gibbon, the Bengal Tiger, two snakes for the drums, giraffe, llama kick, polar bear snare. We're showing these still in the cardinal panel drum module that will be the elephant. We have the narwhal and then we have an happy mixer. Of course we have the scary set up there along with some awesome function junction Captain Big O and then the create audio chips and cells. And this is in the double nifty with the big ear sides. And the other half of the the setup here is another pair, East Beast and West Pest, actually hooked up to a keyboard, which is cool. And then, of course, the Nifty Keys, which isn't patched up right now, but tomorrow we'll be doing a uh, three-voice poly with it, which is kind of cool. So that's what we're showing <clears throat> on the other side of the booth here. We have all the cool iConnectivity stuff, which to be honest, I don't know a whole lot about, but we're using them as mixers with the modular stuff. And it seems to solve all of our problems for that, which is, I was uh, amazed. And then they're showing some playback stuff with the iConnectivity stuff over there. And I think these cases are the strange electronic cases. These double rack mount, which I think are super cool looking. We've all been so busy, I haven't had a chance to get a tour of any of this stuff yet. So that's the booth. We're right across the street from uh, Poly End, which is awesome because I'm so excited to try out that new play of theirs. And then, I'm not gonna go on a long walk here. I'll do that probably tomorrow morning. But we have off in the distance is uh, Alex Four and some other interesting people. Uh, Mark from Verbose Electronics got COVID, so he is uh, he's stuck in his Airbnb for the week, I think. Uh, so it's just Tom manning the Verbose booth, which is kind of a bummer. Uh, Mark's a good guy and he makes really incredible stuff. So it's it's a bummer him and his wife and his, his daughter all have COVID. Um, so get well soon. I don't think they're terribly ill. So that's, it's got to be terribly frustrating. In the same way that all the Buchla guys at Superbooth ended up with, hey, hello, Max. Uh, all the Buchla guys at uh, Superbooth ended up with COVID and were quarantined the whole time. So that is... Uh, that's kind of setup day. It was it was mildly chaotic as setup days go, but we have uh, 
we have everything we need. And hopefully, if you're in LA and you're coming to Nam, you should definitely stop by. And if you know of anything cool, uh, leave it in the comments and I will go or say it in the chat and I will go check it out tomorrow. Because I, because Perry's here, I will definitely have some time to walk around a little bit or Perry will have some time to walk around a little bit and check things out. I just got a free iConnectivity t-shirt swag, so that's good. Those guys are very nice. Um, yeah, so that's... That is the live stream. We had some sad news in the world of synthesizers yesterday. And uh, all the best to the, to the families. But we are trying to push on. I have planned for this evening um, a lot of mellow and hopefully a good night's sleep. All of our bags arrived safely, which was surprising because for Superbooth, I don't know if I told the story or not, uh, the main suitcase that had all the instrument, all the modules in it, didn't arrive in Berlin when I did. So I, uh, it took an extra two or three days. Herman was with me and he sat in the hotel waiting for the bag to arrive, which finally arrived the first day of Superbooth, about halfway through the day. Uh, Herman arrived at Superbooth with the bag and we were able to finish the setup. Super stressful, but this trip has been way better. Everything showed up. Uh, the Strange Electronics guys had everything really organized. I just added what I brought and we had a booth. So that's that's pretty much it. The response for the West Pass so far has been really, really, really solid. Uh, a lot of really nice comments for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed Perry running around in his West Pest Ultra Ego. I had no idea he was such a good actor, but he's a star and should get some sort of Oscar for that. I don't know if they give Oscars for YouTube videos, but if they do, Perry absolutely deserves one. Perry is here at the show. <laughs> Did a nice job setting up. I think he will join me on some of these live streams to sort of get his perspective on the day. I think I'm gonna to try to do these at the end of every day. We'll see how that goes. Um, there'll probably be just two exhausted people sitting here talking about how exhausted we are and all that, because that tends to be how uh, these trade shows go, but I'm really looking forward to showing people all the things we have. I think the East Beast and the West Pest, now that the team is out there and they have, you can see each other's alter ego, it makes, they make such a, a really interesting pair and they really do complete each other in such a cool way um, that it's, I'm glad everyone can see the way that I've been using them now for oh, eight months or nine months is that really they're, they're one kind of, one thought. They were you know designed, conceived of at the same time. It was obvious when we had the idea, it was like, well, yeah, it has to be, it has to be two instruments. One has to be East Coast and one has to be West Coast. And it really is sort of uh, greatest hits of those genres and put in a way that people can dig right in. There, there's no sort of pretense to them. There's no sort of, uh... <laughs> yeah, Daju, that was Perry. He's kicking ass. I couldn't get anybody to, I was trying to get my son to be the West Pest. And I would ask him, and I asked a few other people, and finally I came into the shop the day before we were gonna film. And I said, Perry, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I couldn't find anyone. Nobody wants to be the West Pest. So I have this great idea, and this is what I was gonna do. And he goes, well, shit, let's do it. And that's all it took. And Perry fucking knocked it out of the park. So thank you to Perry. And thank you, obviously, to Michael, who Michael is sort of the other half of the the filming team. He's always there when we do all the talking head stuff, and he helps with the B-roll. So, Michael, 
um, thanks for his help as well. It's, it's just fun to work with these guys in that context that's sort of outside of the little, our own little synthesizer world. Can the sequencer ARP in both be combined? Uh, they can be synced together. I don't know how you would combine them. There is CV and gate out and MIDI out for each one. So yeah, you could use the CV out from one to manage, say, the filter cutoff of the other while you're running the sequence in the other one. Sure. Because it's all modular, you could patch anything any way you want. I think that would be fun. I thought the reason why I'm sitting here, because we have these, we, this is where the chairs were, and I thought it would look nicer, but now I realize it's just a black curtain behind me. I could sit and make it a little bit more artsy. There we go. <laughs> so anyway, I think that's enough. I don't have a whole lot of news because like I said, it's just, and you can see around me, uh, Nam is, if I switch to this view, you can see there is not a whole lot going on here. It's kind of dead. Um, Rhodes is here with some beautiful, beautiful instruments, but there's not a whole lot going on. It's kind of scary. Normally, this would be a beehive of activity, but they're using about half the space they've used in the past. And the energy level here just seems to be lower than it has been in the past. Um, that said, I'm excited to be here and I'm looking forward to, anytime I get to demo stuff for people, it's a good time. I get to show what's going on. I think that's really, really fun, but um, I think it's going to be a much smaller crowd. Here's this. This is the uh, Alex Four booth, the guys from Germany. And their booth is awesome. They got a bunch of furniture from the local Goodwill. And they set up just a badass booth. Some cool dope first modulars here. And then we have the Verbose stuff. But they have three systems set up. And it's, it's just Tom. Tom and I had a, uh, we had a video planned, uh, sort of a goofy video planned, and I, I don't know if he's gonna have time to do it because he has to manage all this by himself. Um, yeah, there's, at this point in the day, this is kind of the end of the day, so there isn't really anybody left to go talk to or show you what they're doing. Um, but tomorrow's another day. So at 13 minutes, I think I'm going to call it a live stream. Thanks for everybody for, uh, for watching and I'll be back tomorrow. Here's Perry. Perry, uh, what are your thoughts on the day? Uh, it's done. That's my thought. Yeah. So tomorrow will be a different one. <laughs> All right. I would agree. I'll see you guys tomorrow and, uh, good sounds. Talk to you later.